modern plastic TV. Here we have with us Kamaljit Singh Burji, Managing Director of Burji Supertech Indust Industries Limited and the Director of Company Amanpreet Singh Burji. So first of all, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank uh, you. Tell us about your company and product range. Uh, I have a very, uh, I have started from the very uh, humble background okay. in 1969. As I got a job as an army officer, but my parents didn't let me go there. And uh, then I, I put a condition at the time that I won't do any other service if I don't go to the army. So, but we didn't have the money at all. So my father and my uncle contributed 6,000 rupees. And we started with a very small lathe machines to do something which we never, we were not aware of what to do. This is in 1969. 1969. Wow, wow, great. And I was only driving cycle. The oh. cycle and one machine. Wow. After this, you know, is a hard working and the God, God with us. So we have, uh, this was the journey very, we had many hardship also. Okay. Gradually we do. Okay, okay. So, they, uh, like starting from a single lathe, right? Mm -hmm. From where he started. Today, uh, so we've been in the industry for more than uh, more than fifty years now, right? Yes. And uh, today we are. Uh, I mean, we've expanded into three verticals. Uh, today, uh, so the, the first vertical is the die and mold, where we are making molds for uh, home appliances, kitchen appliances, lighting, and the automotive industries. Right. Second, we have also uh, expanded into injection mouldings. So today we have in-house capacity starting from 40 tons to 1800 tons. And the third vertical is that we are also OEMs to some of the leading Indian brands like Bajaj, Hindwear, Voltas for coolers. As you can see, these are the air coolers that we are into. This is the product category. Right. Uh, can you show us some of your products? Uh, like some samples of your sure. products, please. So, uh, like I started, our strength has always been designing and manufacturing of die and molds. As you can see, here we have uh, yes. no, die and molds for kitchen for appliances. This is the core and the cavity plate for the blender jars. This we are doing for our esteemed client, uh, Glen Appliances. This you can see is the cavity part. Uh, for a fan blade, this is a 20 inch fan blade for industrial coolers. Over here you can see some of our, uh, some of these components, we've developed toolings for these, such as JMGs, mixer grinders, blenders, then we have chimney components uh, like blower housings, blowers. So all these we are doing for clients like Glen. And moving on to, uh, so this is the latest project that we've done for Live Pure. This is an RO, RO water purifying system. Moving ahead uh, to home appliances, we've developed two links for water heaters, right? As you can see, this is for our uh, esteemed clients, Jaguar and Go uh, Gold Medal. So we have developed complete series starting from 6 litres up to 50 litres. Moving on, uh, we have, uh, I mean, we are also into tooling and uh, mouldings of components for the automotive industry. So these are some of the uh, bumper grills, as you can see. This is for commercial vehicles, which we are presently doing for SML Isuzu. Apart from these, we have components such as air guides, and these are the footsteps. Yeah. Okay. So these are some of the components that uh, you can see, uh, which we have exhibited here. Sir, how is dye, mold and plastic industry growing? What are your views in that? See, uh, today, as you can see, like we have shifted to plastics, right? Okay. Uh, and the industry is continuously evolving. Whatever products, like even uh, even uh, like even if we look at our homes, right? TVs, ACs, heaters. So all kinds of products that we are using, it's nothing but plastics. Yes. So we have. So uh, the main thing is that over the past years, the industry has evolved, and a lot of focus uh, is being given to continuously innovate with respect to technologies. So we even we have like you know invested a lot we need to continuously upgrade our technologies right okay. yeah what the, what are the messages you want to give plastic industry to plastic industry i think uh, because plastic today is is a raw material that we cannot 
do uh, do without but at the same time uh, we all understand that we need to uh, give a lot of focus on the sustainability aspect too correct right hmm. we have to uh, i mean do something good for the environment like for example like uh, in our case we give a lot of importance to csr activities we continuously uh, Uh, are in, engaged in plantation drives right and uh, apart from that uh, we do have technologies like stps etps where the effluents are not released back to the environment correct right so these are some of the things that we give importance to because environment is really important correct. and we cannot ignore that right. uh, so how do you see this dye Uh, molding international 2024 exhibition what are your experiences well uh, uh, it's been good so far and uh, yesterday i feel that it started a bit slow but uh, the turn the turnout is really good uh, today and i hope that uh, it's going to just get better uh, over the next two days yeah okay, okay. thank you so much for sharing your views and uh, all the very best thank you so much thank uh, you